Just before his 20th birthday, Jude Bellingham has completed a move to Real Madrid worth 103 million euros, a number which could still potentially rise to 133 million euros in add-ons. So that makes him the most expensive English teenager in the world and the third most expensive teenage footballer of all time behind just Kylian Mbappe and Joao Felix. This is huge for a kid who was playing in the second tier of English football just three years ago. How has he come this far in such a short time? Well, ladies and gentlemen, come with us as we look at the meteoric rise of Jude Bellingham. But before we get to the video itself, quickly go click the little thumbs up button down there and subscribe to the channel too. Let's now get back to Bellingham. The lad was born in the West Midlands, England, to a former sergeant of the West Midlands Police, Mr. Mark Bellingham. Mark used to play non-league football back in his day and was even known to be a prolific goalscorer. So you could say football runs in the Bellingham genes. It definitely does, because Jude's younger brother Job is already a professional footballer at just 17 years of age. Anyway, Jude Bellingham got into football at the tender age of seven, starting out playing for Birmingham's under eight side. He was quickly identified as a precocious talent, and he began to rise through the ranks pretty quickly. At 14, he was already playing for the club's under 18 side, and at 15, he debuted for the club's under 23 side. His rise was indeed meteoric. In his under-23 debut back in 2018, Bellingham came off the bench in the 60th minute to score the only goal of the game. Everyone who was watching instantly knew that a star had been born right there and then. In 2019, at the age of 15, 442 had him on their list of 50 most exciting teenagers in English football. And even though he was still so young, he had already started drawing interest from clubs in top flights all around Europe. Might we remind you that Birmingham City was still playing in the championship at this time, but Bellingham's talent still managed to shine through. Jude was still a kid and was still even in school when he got his first taste of senior team football. In the summer of 2019, just a month after he turned 16, he got a scholarship with Birmingham City and went on the pre-season tour with the first team. And with how well he did in pre-season, you just knew that his competitive debut was not far away anymore. And indeed, it wasn't. He debuted for the Birmingham City first team on the 6th of August 2019 and immediately became the youngest ever player to play first team football for the club, beating the previous record by 101 days. He started that game, played 80 minutes and was named Birmingham Males Man of the Match. That was a brilliant start to what was about to be a brilliant career. On the 31st of August 2019, his first senior team goal game. And yes, you guessed it, he became the youngest goalscorer in Birmingham's history. From then on, Bellingham became a regular in the first team, often coming off the bench but in the starting 11 most of the time. He was so good that just halfway into the season, there were huge European clubs ready to snatch him from Birmingham's grasp. There were reports that Manchester United were ready to pay £20 million for the 16-year-old kid on the last day of the January 2020 transfer window, but Birmingham City turned it down. Bellingham would end up finishing the 2019-2020 to season as a Birmingham player, and he was a very important one too. This 16-year-old kid made 44 appearances in all competitions that season and helped Birmingham City avoid relegation. For an amazing debut season, Jude Bellingham was named Championship Apprentice of the Year and EFL Young Player of the Season. But perhaps an even bigger honour he received that year was his club announcing that they would retire the jersey number 22, which he wore for the first team that season. Why did the club do that? In their words, it was to remember one of our own and to inspire others. Well, considering how much this kid has done for the club, we can't fault that at all. After helping them survive relegation, he moved to Dortmund in the summer of 2019 and earned Birmingham City 30 million euros in transfer fees. That amount meant that he became the most expensive 17-year-old footballer in history. And guess what? Birmingham is set to earn about 15 million euros from the lad's move to Real Madrid this summer because of a sell-on clause in his contract. Again, how won't they love him? Anyway, Bellingham moved far away from home to Germany at the age of 17, and he hit the ground running. In September 2020, he scored on his debut and became Borussia Dortmund's youngest ever goalscorer in the history of the DFB Pokal and also in any competitive game. In his first month in the Bundesliga, he won the award for Rookie of the Month. But hey, 
that was just the beginning. In October, he started his first ever UEFA Champions League game against Lazio, and by doing that, he broke Phil Foden's record and became the youngest English player to start a Champions League game. His first season in Germany was just really special. He was killing it both in the Bundesliga and in Europe. He helped Dortmund reach the quarter-final of the Champions League where he scored against Man City. In his first season, he made 46 appearances in all competitions for Dortmund and was voted Newcomer of the Season in Germany in 2021. That same year, he finished as runner-up to Pedri in the Copa Trophy. Now, at this point, Jude Bellingham was already known worldwide as an immense talent and all the big clubs wanted him. But what made him even more attractive to most of these clubs was his maturity beyond his years. Bellingham was just 18 in 2021, but he was already leading his teammates who were much older than him. He would control the midfield, defend his teammates and speak out for his club when the need arose. One very memorable incident was De Classica in December 2021. Bellingham bored his heart out in that game and set up Dortmund's two goals to keep the game level going into the final 15 minutes. But then, a controversial penalty was awarded to Bayern Munich in the 77th minute, and that was how they stole all three points in that game. You know what made that penalty award even more controversial? Earlier in the game, Dortmund had two penalty appeals, but the referee completely ignored them and wouldn't even go to VAR to get a second look. The Dortmund players and staff were so angry about this, but it was Bellingham who spoke up on behalf of everyone. He heavily criticised the referee Felix Zweier in his post-match interview, saying, You give a referee that has fixed a match before the biggest match in Germany, what do you expect? And you know what's crazy? He wasn't even lying. Felix Zweier was involved in a match-fixing scandal back in Germany in 2005, and he even received a six-month ban for it. So, there was truth in what Bellingham was saying, but the German Football Association still slapped him with a €40,000 fine. But from that point on, everybody saw the teenager as what he is, a true leader. In the 2022-23 season, he wore the captain's armband for Dortmund in some really huge games, including ones against Sevilla in the Champions League group stages and one against Chelsea in the round of 16 of the same competition. The lad also became much better in front of goal. He scored a total of 14 goals for Dortmund in all competitions in his final season at the club four of them coming in successive UEFA Champions League games. He also provided seven assists for the club as they came so close to winning the Bundesliga for the first time in more than a decade. But now, Jude Bellingham's Borussia Dortmund chapter is over and he'll be starting his 20s at one of the biggest clubs in world football. It's an insane achievement for someone who is really just still a kid. Jude Bellingham's rise has been nothing but meteoric and very fascinating, but he's only just getting started. The lad has the potential to end his career as the greatest English midfielder in history. But do you think he'll be able to achieve that status? How do you think his Real Madrid career will go? Let us know in the comments.